We just finished building our second temporary corral here in the last month. We, uh, we've got 11 acres here that we rented. The sheep already burned through it, so they need to go somewhere else. I think they were here for, we'll be here about 20 days. Um, anyway, we'll be back later in the summer, but wanted to show you our real quick temporary corral we set up. So there's just a barbed wire fence right here. So we ran a couple cattle panels on it. We got a, you hook that in there? I think you no. We got a cattle panel gate here from the pasture. That's where all the, the all come in. And then we ran, the sheep can, can go through, the lambs can go through a pipe gate. So we, I curved it off with a piece of cattle panel. We're trying to use what's here already. So there were already some panels there and posts and the side of the shed. So we didn't have to build that. So that saved us some time. Hey, you're okay. So we have this, this'll be our working pen here. And then we can bring the sheep We can run the sheep around here. I got a gate I can cut them off with. So we have one pen to sort with and, and our loadout is all, it'd be the same pen. So we'll just be able to back the truck up just like it is. We'll use the bigger trailer and bump that post up against this uh, pallet and then the gate, this back door, will swing right in here. And we'll be able to load out right here. We weren't able to attach anything to the shed. It's just tin. So that's just standing there and it's braced up with this other pallet on the back side. So that keeps it real solid. If we were loading cows, it'd be a problem, but the sheep aren't gonna go through that. And we did the same thing on these we just run extra ones at a right angle and that keeps the wall from tipping over. I don't know, we maybe built this in an hour. So that's our second, second corral here in the last month. So away we go.